What God ordains is always good. This hymn originated in 1675 by German poet and schoolmaster Samuel Rodegast. This hymn text was written in 1675 while his friend, the cantor Severus Gastaris, whom he knew since childhood and college, was seriously ill and confined to his bed. The account credits Gastaris, believing himself to be on his deathbed, with composing the hymn melody as music for his funeral. When Gastorius recovered, he instructed his choir to sing the hymn each week at his front door to make it better known. The earliest traces of an arrangement of this hymn tune go back to the days of Johann Pachelbel. On October 25, 1681, Pachelbel married Barbara Gabler, daughter of the Stadt Major of Erfurt. The couple was blessed with a son. Unfortunately, in October 1683, both his wife and child died from an attack of plague. Pachelbel's first published work, a set of chorale variations called Musikliche Sturbens Gedanken, which translates Musical Thoughts on Death, was probably influenced by this event. As the title indicates, the collection was probably influenced by the deaths of Pachelbel's first wife, Barbara Gabler, and their only child. They both died in Erfurt in October 1683 during an epidemic. It is suggested that these variations were written with the harpsichord in mind as there was a plague attacking Europe and Pachelbel was most likely quarantined at that time, and a musical instrument that almost everybody had was the harpsichord, which is a predecessor of the piano on which these variations were composed. You will hear the harpsichord on the Rogers Infinity 361 with the chorale and three short variations written by Pachelbel himself.
There are many portions of Scripture which were used in crafting the text of the hymn, What God Ordains is Always Good. Among them, two come readily to mind. First, from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, he states, We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Because, as the Apostle proclaims in Romans 8, 28, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. Let us pray. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, give us grace to trust You during this time of illness and distress. In mercy, put an end to the epidemic that afflicts us. Grant relief to those who suffer and comfort those who mourn. Sustain all medical personnel in their labors and cause your people ever to serve you in righteousness and holiness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until next time, may the Spirit of the Lord remind you what God ordains is always good. His will is just and holy. He shall embrace and shield me, so to my God I yield me. And thank you for joining in this devotional moment.